What up, y'all? Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. So today, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the King of Swords. The Two of Swords. The Three of Wands. And the Tower. So let me read this for you very fast. Ten of Wands in reverse. So you're under pressure, you're under responsibility, and you're under burden. And what's being said to you is for you to shrug that off. You have to let it go and give it to God, okay? You have to let God have his will. You know, when I first started talking to God, one of the things God told me was that God is a dealer in circumstance, okay? So you have free will, okay? But your choices are given to you by God, by the Almighty, by the source, by the by the universe, okay? Your choices are, are handled to be given to you by cause and effect, okay? God is a dealer in circumstance. God is a dealer in, in choices, okay? Now, if you let go of these things that are weighing you down and keeping you make mentally stagnant and, 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 and holding you back, you'll come back with eight of those ones. And when you do... Like I say, it's going to be like a mud fight, okay? So, everybody else been throwing mud. Everybody else been throwing food. Everybody else been throwing garbage at you. But now it gets to be your turn. And not because you're vindictive, but because the truth is what the truth is. You can't help it, right? Uh, when it comes time to speaking your truth, baby, you better, you, better, you better stand up there and you better tell them, right? You better let them know. This is what my truth is, okay? And, and don't and don't dare back down from that, okay? And if you do, if you stand in your truth, you have the king of swords, okay? And an astute man, authority, and power, high standards, mental clarity, morally upright, justice honesty and truth so if you stand in your honesty and truth okay then you'll be sending them uh eight staffs at somebody you're going to hit your target okay no matter what like i say somebody can dodge four of them they can't dodge eight of them you're going to get it you that they, they going to get it you you're going you going you going to reach your mark okay and but in order to do so you have to stand in the certainty of yourself, you have to not let that be wavered by anything. It's your truth, okay? So you better damn well speak it, all right? Now, when it comes to that, we have the two of swords. So speaking your truth puts you into a situation to where you now, you have to choose between your heart and your mind, right? And I'm telling you, choose your heart, okay? Your heart is always your best answer, okay? But not only that, it, it's a third eye card, so it's your intuition. Your intuition is linked to your heart. If you there's there's this uh, heart brain math that I remember from uh, Greg Braden, okay? Well, the way to synchronize because there's a way to synchronize your your heart and your brain, okay? The Egyptians called your, or excuse me, better known as the Comitians, called your heart, uh, or the Comitic peoples called your heart your brain they believe that you think from your brain your brain is your heart okay uh we believe you think from your brain and your brain is up here but greg Braden put it out that there's a thing called coherence right where you can align your heart and your mind at the same time and that my friend is done through intuition okay and uh that's the only way that you're going to hit your mark okay and when you do hit your mark three of wands that which you've been envisioning, that which you've been wanting to manifest, that which you've been going towards will be yours. It will be attainable through faith, okay? That's the only way you can get this because at the end of the day, 
intuition comes and goes all the time. It's only those who listen to it. It's only those who pay attention. It's only those who heed faith in their intuition that end up getting the final result, right? That's just that's just how that works. And what your final result is going to be is the tower. But this is not to be worried about. The tower is, is, is viewed as a bad thing, and I understand that. But at the same time, uh, it also represents growth, okay? It also represents the ending of one cycle and the beginning of another, okay? So if you follow your intuition and shrug this weight off of you, this weight that's just really garbage. This is just the garbage that people have been throwing on you for years, right? There's nothing, there's nothing different about it. You know the same old rhyme, the same old story. You've heard it a million times, okay? Everybody's used it against you, okay? It's all right. Okay, you're used to it by now, okay? And you should be because you've been through it a lot. But you have to follow that intuition. And when you follow that intuition and take, when you get to that fork in the road and you take that that right that leads to your heart, you're going to find a tower moment. Now, that's because you will have higher knowing of a situation that you didn't highly know before, okay? And once you look down on that situation, it's all going to come crumbling down for you to become right back level again. Okay, because it was built on falsehood. It was built on bullshit. It was built on you you subserving into another person. It was built on you making sure that another person was happy, happy while you were miserable. Okay, that's how that works. And something about this path that involves following your heart is going to lead you out of that. Okay, so you need to be faithful, all right? You need to shrug the weight, right? You can only shrug the weight through faith, okay? And you can do that, okay? It's just a matter of if you will, all right? So the choice is yours. Keep your head up. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. All right, ladies.